Hello again YouTube. It's another day with some more casting tests. We've got here are the tests of the two different UV only glow powders I received recently. And they're done here in uh, five different variations in each colour. What we have on the lower run here is the lime green and above the new ultra yellow which is an ultra fine powder which glows a lot more and I've got them in the arrangement here of this one here is the plain polyurethane 40 shore rubber and these two with it's just dusted into the surface of the mould this one it's dusted into the surface of the mould and has some mixed into the rubber this one is it just plain mixed into the rubber this one it is mixed into the rubber with a little bit of pigment as well that matches the uh, UV powder and the final one, it's both in the surface of the mould, in the in the rubber, and has some pigment mixed in. And I take those upstairs and try them under the 15 watt UV lamp. And as a smaller side, got over here a test of the new fleece in rubber. This one, because the fleece had a slightly longer pile on one side than the other, and if you can make that out. I hope it's to test which side is best to face into the rubber with. That's been curing for nearly 19 hours. This one here is long pile down. Let's try that. How should it come? There's no, no pigment in that. It's just very dark. And this one is short pile down. Uh, long pile down is a little bit messier around the outside. There's a little bit more waste where it's drawn out I suppose. So short pile down's a bit cleaner. Have that, almost an undercut there. It looks pretty clean all the way around. So obviously you're slightly better bond with the long pile than the short. Let's try going on parts, can I? can't even start to get this apart. Okay, long pile down is obviously very strong. Let's do the short pile. Oh, is that a just... It's very slightly coming away. Very slightly. Oh, I say it's just... just Launch the undercut here. Ah, no, it's going to bend my nail backwards. Okay, it looks like the long pile is fractionally stronger, and I must admit, even though it's a little bit messier around the outside, you'd be cutting that away anyway. And because of that, I suspect this would be nicer to glue the short pile than the long pile, so I'm going to say long pile face down. And now, back indoors with these. I'm going to turn the UV lamp on and run it over in regular light. Let's hold it above. It's about a foot above. You can see there is a bit of reaction, especially uh, top uh, left there. Now if I turn off the room lights, there's a slight glow at the top ones from there because it's the top one there has some uh, UV uh, glow in the dark feature. So that's 15 watt UV lamp above, by about about a foot above it. You can see the ultra fine is a lot brighter there. The two that have uh, really picked it up there, are the ones that will uh, have it both mixed in and on the surface. So that seems to be the. Uh, and it's the same same for the uh, other glow powder as well. Surface plus mixed in really brings it out. Now I've also done another test this evening uh, using uh, polyurethane fast cast with a solid resin uh, comparing several several types I have to hand. Now they're still in the moulds down here so I'll just bring them into shot bring the UV lamp back on and you can see the one on the right just lights it right up and none of these have any pigment in they've only got the glow powders in 
So, and then the UV, the polyurethane resin usually sets uh, to a sort of white, sort of bone cream sort of colour. So, I'm not quite sure how much of this is it reacting to it normally, and how much it reacting to the powers within them. And we've got here in the layout is the far right is the ultra fine. Next one is the UV lime, the UV green. Next one is the UV glow in the dark slash UV, which is the one we saw at the uh, top there. And the far left is the 400 mesh glow in the dark powder uh, I had previously seen around from a different supplier. Uh, that was from uh, Glowtech, I believe. And I'll link to the suppliers, but if I turn these out of the moulds, you can see just catching the edge of this one, it's really lit up. I don't think these will have settled out, but if I turn them out of their moulds, these are very fresh, as in I've made them within the last half hour. Now if we lift this, oh, there is no competition at all, is there? And you see it's just a little bit spotty, so it hasn't settled fantastically well, I'm afraid, but yeah, the uh, Ultra Fine has uh, really come into its own here, really come into its own. The other two, yeah, oddly enough, the Bog Standard Lime is actually the weakest here, and the uh, UV Mix one is actually the next brightest, so a bit of a surprise there. A bit of a surprise. I was expecting this one. That's supposed to be glow in the dark and. UV reactive, but this one here is supposed to be UV on its own, so... But mind you, I didn't use very accurate, um... Accurate uh, comparisons, because... Unfortunately, the stuff is so fine, it's very hard to weigh it out precisely, so I was pretty much, uh, working on... Actual, just lump, how <laughs> approximate sizes, relative size of lumps, I'd need to get some very fine scales out to actually measure it accurately. But this is, uh... Maybe... Uh, the very tip of a test tube's worth in each one to about uh, 10 grams of resin. Now, if I take the lamp away, you can see the Glowtech one is glowing very brightly, but if you just want UV reactive, yeah. There's about, I haven't tried many of the, uh, I haven't tried many of the UV uh, glow in the dark ones. So. But if I look at this side on, you can see the glow powder is so thick and heavy from the Glowtech one, it's really, really settled out. This stuff sets within three minutes, and it's already settled out to, ooh, uh, say two thirds the thickness of the, uh, this very shallow casting. So if this was a much, much deeper casting, I don't think we'd be able to. I think it might take it might have dropped maybe a half the cast if I did one of my claws in it. Whereas the others here, I mean, the UV glow in the dark UV with uh, has also settled out to a degree, but not quite as much of a degree. The UV reactive lime has not really settled out very much. Maybe just the top edge, but the ultra fine has just not settled out in the slightest, that is magnificent, that is even, clean, that's just amazing, that's just amazing. If you want an even result in your castings, that's just the stuff to go for. I mean, there's a, there's a few little specks there, but I uh, think that's just a mixing thing, because it is so fine. I did degas each one of these before putting it in, and it has given... Uh, just to get any air out so it bonds better to it, but wow, it's the results I'm getting from these early tests are very, very interesting. Let's see if I turn the light back on. Yeah, they're all sort of say daylight, daylight visible. And there's the raw resin. That's the bottom side. There. So if I turn these over, so you have the base of them. Only one of them is glowing. All the rest have settled out so far that it's the rear of the mould just has no, none of the glow powders in. The fine is just the only way to go here.